Now we are going to start with the another half of this chapter that is the plastics. See plastics uh, you all are familiar because you encounter many things in your daily routine that are formed of plastic like bottles, pens, toys. There are many things, polythene bags also. So there are many things which you see around yourself is made up of uh, plastic. So, you know that from where this term plastic is being derived? It is being derived from a Greek word plastikos. It is being derived from a Greek word that is plastikos which means to form. The meaning of this plastikos is the to form. So plastic is derived from Greek word plastikos which means to form. Now we, we have seen that there are two kinds of plastics. One are thermoplastic and the another is thermosetic. Thermoplastic is the plastics that do not undergo any chemical change in their composition when you heat it. So that means uh, suppose uh, you have a plastic and what you do is you just uh, like if you try to heat it there won't be any chemical uh, composition change. So that means uh, they do not undergo any chemical change in their composition when heated and they can be molded again and again. So that means you can mold it again and again and you can just change its shape also. And as far as thermosetting is concerned, thermosetting that means one set cannot be changed. So coming on to the definition that once shaped can't be softened again on heating and even cannot be reshaped. So this is an important question which you encounter in your paper that is the thermoplastic and the thermosetting. So here uh, you cannot reshape it, uh, sorry you can reshape it again and again and remold it because you can heat it. But uh, the thermosetting is the one, the one set into a certain shape cannot be changed. So that means cannot be softened again, cannot be reshaped, cannot be remolded. Example polyethylene, polypropylene, PVC, they all can be uh, uh, molded again and again. Thermosetting one is the example bakelite. That means one set into a certain desired shape cannot be changed. So if we uh, talk about uh, the properties uh, in the plastic, we see that it is lightweight, doesn't rust and uh, it has lower transportation cost durable and you can actually reuse it. Due to these reasons it is being used in making bottles, pens, toys, many things which you see around. But you know that the major like though it is fulfilling our requirement but still it is uh, very uh, it is you can say it is a it is causing a kind of environmental hazard too because it is not so eco-friendly and it, it, it results in the environmental pollution. You know that uh, that is why uh, you have often seen that there are are uh, ban on the use of uh, polythene bags because there, there are certain raw materials which are being used in making those polythenes and or you can say a plastic and that raw materials are actually you can say main cause behind the cancer. So that means they are not eco-friendly so obviously anything which will stay in the environment for a longer period is going to cause an environmental pollution and as we are living in that environment we need the environment for various purposes like breathing and all. So that means it can actually uh, can be a fatal to us or it can be like it can cause like I, as I told you that uh, the raw materials which are used in it is the main cause for the cancer also. So again that means it is uh, harmful for us. So that means though it is fulfilling many uh, many uses but still it possesses a main disadvantage that it is non-biodegradable that is cannot be decomposed by the microorganisms so resulting in the environmental pollution. So this is all about the fibers and the plastics so we are finished with the chapter. So the important thing uh, you need to know about the synthetic fibers in detail and moreover you should know about the difference between the thermoplastic and the thermosetting. So these are few important questions questions of this related to this uh, chapter right so we finish with the fibers and the plastic